So by now, you know that I love analog things with all the different notebooks that keeps appearing on my channel. But um, today is not a notebook day. Today is a digital day because I just figured out a way to run like that full Notion desktop version on my iPad, which was one of the reasons why I don't use my iPad as much is because my whole life runs on Notion. And when I attach a magic keyboard, I want to use the full power of Notion. The problem is if you request for the desktop site, it doesn't work. You're still not able to use the full Notion desktop. So now I'm able to use the full desktop version of Notion. I love this pop-up view. It doesn't take me out from where I was before and I'm just so happy that I can use this full desktop version of Notion. Now, if you want to do the same thing, look for this app called Stay download it. When you get into Stay, get a new user script and what you're going to do is to paste this. And I would love to say that I was a genius who figured this out, but um, the genius who figured it out is called Perplexity. So um, it helped me figure out how to write the user script. This is going to be pasted somewhere on our website in Notion. I will edit it somewhere in and this way you can just copy and paste it as well. Now let's move back to Stay. So once you paste this in and you press create and then you turn this on. Once you have this set up, you head back to Safari, the extension button, manage extensions, make sure Stay is turned on and it'll work. You just want to double check by going into it. It will be highlighted purple like this and it's working. We're done. Yep, that's that's it. Uh, you have full desktop for Notion on your iPad. I would say it works about 90% of the times, but that 10% where it still loads the mobile page, what you want to do is to hit into stay, turn the Notion desktop mode off, and then turn it back on again. Somehow that just fixes everything. From what I've gathered, this script has to run before the website loads and sometimes the website loads first, then the script runs. And so that's where there is a little bit of inconsistency. But so far, based on my limited testing, this has worked out really, really well. So I'm sharing this with you guys and I hope that you are able to make this work. I love Notion and I use it to track my finances. So being able to use the full desktop version everywhere is very important to me. So I hope you found this helpful. If any one of you understands JavaScript much better than I do, uh, let me know why this works and I'm just happy to learn something new. Cheers, guys.